hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and i am so sorry the dog's behind me i am so 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 sorry about that i've been sort of a well these past couple of weeks um but the first week his um dad and stepmom were down from scotland so i just wanted to spend the week with them really i don't know how they'd feel get bobby's just jumped up that's why you're wobbling um I don't know how they feel about me whipping out the camera every five minutes. So we had a week with them. And then for this week, I've been feeling so strange. Um, I've had a mouth ulcer. As you know, I always suffer with mouth ulcers. I've had gone on my tongue. Um, and I don't know. It's been so strange. I've been getting really, really hot all the time. Um, but I don't know if it's hot flushes as such. I don't know whether it's feels like that if you see what i mean i'm tired constantly like all the time i've just been sleeping constantly i've had no energy to do anything anyway i went to the doctors um a couple of days ago about this i don't know if you can see there's this thing there on my nose and um the lady that does my botox i went to her and says can you remove it and she's like oh i can't touch it until you've seen someone about that because I don't know what it is so I went for an appointment a few weeks ago and they put me with someone that didn't have a clue but she says oh it doesn't look bad but so then they booked me in with my doctors but I didn't even see a doctor I seen a nurse and he said it doesn't look immediately dangerous but he took a picture of it and he sent it off to a dermatologist so hopefully it's nothing um I'm sure it is nothing but um I said to him, can you remove it? And he's like, no, because it's cosmetic or something and it will leave a scar. And I thought, well, I'd rather have a scar than this. So I'm going to have to try and get um, someone else to remove it, really. Um, but while I was there, I said, look, I don't know whether I may be going through my menopause. Like the start of it, what, they, what do they call it? Peri, perimenopause, premenopause, or whatever. And, um, but because I'm on the injection, <clears throat> I don't know where my periods because I just don't get them. So um, he's going to do a blood test on me. That's the 13th of this month. Next month. I mean, see what I mean? Next month. <clears throat> and they're going to do a blood test and see. And he says, if you are showing signs, we can just put you on HRT. So, But you know when you're sat there and you actually want them to find something. You want something to be wrong with you. So at least you know what it is. Because I just hate feeling like this. I've been taking like multivitamins and all sorts to try and feel better but i just don't know what it is so if any of you guys actually are going through that and you know that you're going through it tell me your symptoms um because i'd love to know if it's similar to mine i know everyone's different but just so i get a heads up because i don't really know my mum didn't go through it till she was in her 50s so i am quite early i think but <clears throat> we'll wait and see anyway i am sorry i don't, i hate letting you guys down and i really missed you guys i really really have i've just like it's been so weird not uploading and stuff and i i hate letting you guys down because i hate finding a youtuber that i love and then they just go away well i promise it won't happen again <laughs> so today anyway because i've been poorly as usual actually my house looks like well like nothing on earth again so um i have actually stripped one sofa and it's in the wash now if you can hear it so um, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna deep clean my downstairs today because tomorrow we're actually getting a new bed for our room. I'm so excited. It's like a massive headboard. It looks so Gucci. It looks really nice. So I'm gonna do the upstairs sort of another day once the new bed's in, things like that. I'll vlog it anyway. But today I'm gonna focus on really deep cleaning downstairs. My fridge needs doing it. Everything needs doing it. It just feels dirty. Do you know what I mean? That rug's still there. I've actually got, let me show you. Hang on, let me turn you around. You'll, you'll giggle when I show you this. Oh, look, I have one door done. All the rest are still the same, except it's got a handle on. And the reason is because my father-in-law got the wrong doors. He went and changed them and they're still the wrong doors. So I'm still waiting on him doing them. So my house just uh, still looks like this. Actually, I'll show you in my house at the minute. I don't look bad on camera, but I tell you what, it's awful. I won't show you the lounge just yet because Maya's watching Love Island or something in there. Let me show you my fridge. It's got all old food in it and just, yeah, it, that needs sorting. It needs cleaning. So, yeah. So anyway, I hope really, you really, really do enjoy this video and let's get moving.
Lights out, hearts beating faster in a minute I'm high on slow dancing with you One, two, three, keep it going, last forever All blacked out, then flying with you I don't care that my mind's gone insane And my heart will burst into flames No, I don't care about the heartache and pain Just don't let the memories fade So how are we all coping with the, what's left of the summer holidays, actually? We're sort of on the last week now. I know, obviously, the people in America and I think Scotland as well go back quite early, but they break up, obviously, before us. But uh, my girls are actually going back on the 5th of September. And that is actually the same day as Sparky's castration. So I am going to be an absolute mess that day. You can only imagine if you remember how I was on Binx's castration, I was I was a mess, and not only that, it's my little one's first day at high school. So, oh God, I'm just I'm dreading it, especially with my emotions at the moment, as as you can imagine. But um, I probably will vlog that day because uh, you were so supportive the last time with Binx. You really helped me with all your lovely comments and things. So I probably will vlog that so you could help me um through it and. Um, uh, also, in a minute, you'll see me sort of just wipe over my oven. I sort of do that once a week. And honestly, it really helps you not having to deep clean it as much because, like, I was leaving it and leaving it and leaving it and it was just getting ridiculous. So I find if you just do that and it takes no time at all, it really helps you having to, like, deep clean less. I only sort of do it, like, twice a year now with, like, that oven cleaner that you can get. Um, but the other day, I was cooking jacket potatoes in there. Now, I know you're meant to prick them before you put them in, but I never have, and it's never affected it. But, um, yeah, the other day, I was cooking them, and all of a sudden, this massive, like, bang happened. And I looked, and it literally had exploded everywhere in the oven. But luckily, where it was so, like, fluffy, I could clean it up quite easy. But it was literally everywhere. I didn't even know it could do that. I thought my oven had broken, actually, to be fair. But, yeah, so, yeah, there you go, a bit of uh, humour. Then we parted Back to back we would carry on then We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break
also, guys, I do apologise about the way I look. Um, as I said, it's like some people when I watch like cleaning videos and stuff, I swear they just put loads of makeup on and stuff just to do a video. But um, yeah, I, like I say, it's real life and the way I've been feeling has been awful. But like this is the first day I actually feel better and able to tackle to tackle stuff. So like I said, I hope they find something because it's just, I hate feeling like this and like I, as you can see look I, i've got no eyelashes in my hair's all greasy and things but i like you to see a bit of real life it's not all unicorns and rainbows in um everybody's world is it so we just have to get on the best we can maybe i'm escaping the love we found there's something about you something about you i like about you i like i get you Honestly, I really wish stripping this sofa was this easy. It is such, such a workout. It's so hard. I think that's why I try and put it off. I was actually going to wait till the kids went back to school. But I just couldn't wait any longer. It was just disgusting and covered in hair and oh God. And all the, I have had this sofa a while. The actual legs broken under one of them. Um, and I have to sort of just slot it in to prop the sofa up. Um, and like all the cushions are sort of stained in the middle but well, ugh, what can you do it it's it is what it is i can't afford like a new sofa or anything and to be honest it's good because i can just strip this one and put it in the wash so it's not as if i really need a new sofa or anything and i do really like it i love the fact that it's crushed velvet i love anything like that a bit of a uh, glitz and glam ain't got time to do everything you said you would frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days With your smile in the bar How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friend hey, Sorry to interrupt you there Because uh, this is a bit of real life for you you know I've just done my microwave, well, Mark wanted some lunch, so I thought I'd do soup. And look, it exploded. And then it's up there as well. Oh, goody! So yes, I have to do it all over again. That is real life right there. Try to be cool, even wear that shirt you wanted to. My friends think I'm lame. Since I met you, I am not the same It was not meant to be a fairy tale As you can possibly see that I haven't done this in a while <laughs> I've got old birthday cake in there, eggshells And I'm, as you can see, I'm checking the date on everything To see if anything sort of escaped <laughs> Honestly, the, please don't judge Because I can't be the only one that, that's fridges like this Like full of like old fruit and veg and oh it's terrible honestly but it felt so much better when i actually did get it done
you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, and got time. I'm not broken, not broken, not broken. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. sofa the second sofa is just on the line there and I think that's dry now so I'm gonna get cracking with this room I'm gonna pull all the sofas out <clears throat> hoover underneath them give the place a good dust and things like that oh let me show you this quickly look at the picture of my niece that my brother gave me up in my nursery how cute she's so lush so anyway so yeah let's get Cracking now, because as usual, the place looks like a bomb site. Oh, If you um, see me keep looking up, I am actually looking at the telly. I'm watching um, the new series by Katie Price when she's doing up her house. Actually, she does it lovely. Um, I'll probably get absolutely slated for this, but uh, Katie Price is my idol. I absolutely love her. I would kill to be like her. I think she's amazing. I think how she is on camera is how she is in real life. Like, there's no fakeness there with her personality. She's you know uh, and like everyone says about how many men she's been with and things like that but a normal person has probably been with more it's just not plastered all over the the papers and things but yeah like i say i absolutely love her she's she's absolutely amazing i think so that's what i'm watching if i'm keep looking up anyway um actually i wouldn't mind knowing if you guys sort of idolize anyone or have model yourself after anybody or really respect someone um It'd be interesting, every, actually, because every time I mention that Katie Price is mine, everyone sort of turns their nose up and things. But And look at Sparky, my baby. Oh, I'm dreading him getting his um his castration, honestly. You know, oh, my God, I'm dreading it. But I actually got um, back to Katie Price. I actually got the tattoo on my back because she had a bow on her back. But I, um, I do apologise right now that you have to see my horrible tattoos all the time. I 
hate them. I absolutely hate my tattoos. They're my one regret, regret in life. I got them done when I was very young and I just made the biggest mistake in my life. I've actually got quite a, a few, um, but not obviously all of them are on show. And like I say, I, I really hope my kids don't go and get them done when they're old enough because I really regret mine. I mean, most people like at the gym, some ladies have got like full on sleeves and things and it so suits them. But I personally just hate them and regret them so much. Uh, actually, you can let me know again in the comments if you've got any and you regret them or if you love them and it'd be interesting. If you want All the way that I feel you I know that it's real Cause I can get them out of my head I don't care what we do Everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him nah, 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 nah My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah I told him I can be a fighter I um, got these new uh, cushion covers off uh, Sheen. They're about two pounds something each. Honestly, they look amazing. I'm so happy with them because as you can see, these have just totally had their day. So I thought I'd look on Sheen and yeah, I'm so happy with them. You uh, guys may remember in a previous vlog I did a while ago, I was talking about um, me getting an air so source heat pump. Well, I am actually going for it. So I get to get um, an air source heat pump. I'm getting a whole new roof. It's getting insulated because I don't know if, I'm sure I told you in another vlog, I've got a leak in my bathroom ceiling. So I had to get a new a uh, whole new roof put on. So I've, I'm getting that done and I'm getting an air source heat pump so they'll be proper because as you can see I've got storage heaters in the background there because I live in an all electric house. So if I get a heat pump I'll be able to get proper sort of radiators um, that will work like a boiler uh, apparently. So um, I am so excited and I will like take you guys along on that journey. The bloke did say it will be like a whole sort of week of madness. So, oh, I am dreading that, but it will be worth it in the end, hopefully.
That's my kitchen and lounge done. I'm going to stop now because I'm feeling a bit rubbish. But And I'm getting my new bed tomorrow. So I'll start on my bedroom tomorrow. So that's everything done here. And through here. Nice and clean. And it smells so good as well, thank God. So yeah. And all over my nice clean sofa as per usual. Anyway, everyone, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.